The market has become really hard to predict at the beginning of the year. RCBC Securities or Ulrich Ruiz was very bullish about the PSP ending 2015 to the tune of 7,800. He joins us now to know how that has changed. Hi, Raul. Good, Hi, good morning. morning we see the PSP index now just creeping up over 7,000, reaching 7,100 levels yesterday. Right. So how do you see it going for the rest of the year? Are you still bullish about it? Yeah, I still think the market will end up higher, uh, although I think I may have to scale down my target. Uh, as you said, it used to be 7,800, but now maybe 7,600 to 7,700 would be more reasonable. Um, well, currently we're seeing the market trying to test the 7,200 resistance level, and I think that's a crucial level to test. But if you'll take a look at the market's behavior the past few weeks, it has in fact been uh, achieving higher lows. And therefore, this is a signal that uh, the corrections have been becoming shallower. And for so long as we break the 7,200, I think it's going to be easy to hit 7,600. So you see the uptrend continuing. Yes. Well, BDO, you, BDO is one of the stocks that you watch, and right. BDO is per posting earnings next week. Mm -hmm. And just last week, they announced a 2 billion medium-term note program. So where is BDO going with this? What are the prospects? Well, they actually said that this is something that has already been there for a while, and they're just updating the terms of the medium-term note, uh, medium-term note facility. But they have no immediate plans to issue it. Um, with regards to your question about their earnings, I still think that they're going to be on track with the 25.1 billion peso guidance that they gave us, and uh, earnings in the first half were in fact in line with that. And even my own personal forecast is actually a bit higher than their guidance. They did meet their they, their earnings during the first half was 6.9 billion, which was mm -hmm. uh, which was uh, which was a growth of from their from year on year earnings. To, so for their current price now is 104 pesos. What's your target price for BDO? Our 12 month target price is 125, but again, that could be hit even before the end of the 12 months. We do have some analysts, 11, 11 analysts say it's a buy, 11 says it's a hold, and 0 mm -hmm. says it's a sell. So, I'm, I, so as I understand, you're also on a buy yeah, tag a for buy BDO. Yeah. What other stocks are you betting on that do you think will end the year on a better note this year? Well, because at the start, you were very bullish about consumer stocks. Right, you, do you right. still share the same view now? Yeah, I still like consumer stocks and probably even more so now because the share prices have dropped a lot since August. And we see companies like Jollibee and URC, which used to be relatively expensive, to be even cheap already at their, uh, their current prices. And besides that, we still like the property companies. Property companies like Ayala Land have posted very strong earnings, and Mega World has been sold down, so I think it's a bargain at current prices. And besides that, we like Robinson's Land because it's less speculative and it's very conservative with, term, with regards to financing. Um, other than that, we like... Um, uh, energy, I'm sorry. So we like EDC and FGen, and we like Manila Electric. And I think despite the cautiousness towards the gaming sector, Bloom, for example, is set to recover in earnings um, as the expansion already generates enough revenues, and I think that's going to break even soon and post profits beyond that. You mentioned Meralco. Meralco is also set to release earnings next week, so mm -hmm. do you think that they will be meeting their earnings forecast for next for from the third quarter. Yeah, well, Morocco is already guided towards a strong third quarter results. So we are confident they're going to be able to meet their target. What do you think of this uh, plan of, uh, as mentioned by Treasurer Bobby Tan, of issuing more um, dollar bonds before mm -hmm. the end of the year? Do you think it's a good idea? Is the timing good? Oh, I think the, peso, the volatility of the peso is now behind us. Well, at least for now, considering that, you know, it uh, depreciated a bit after the devaluation of the yuan. Although but, it seems to be still weakening a little so far, but you think that um, that's going to appreciate soon? Yes. Well, if we look at technical indicators, it seems to be pointing towards uh, strength. And in fact, I dare say that it's heading towards 45.50, probably towards the end, end of, of the, the year. year. All right. Thank you very much, Rebel, for Thank joining you. us today. <laughs>